in any industry defect and defectives are the words that are being used interchangeably though their meanings are not similar people often get confused between these two words so in this video we're going to understand the concept of defect versus defective with the help of some examples so without wasting any further time let's start our video Hello and welcome to yet another video series from Digitally Learning, your one-stop solution for all your learning needs. So what are defects and defectives? So the customer expect product and service to meet their specification. And when they don't meet your specification, either the defect or defective occurs. The product may have many defects. But a product is not defective unless the defect prevents the product from functioning. And if the product is not usable, it is considered as a defective product. So in order to understand the difference between these two terms, let us first understand what these two terms mean, defect and defective. So we'll start with defect first. So defect is any non-conformity that does not meet the customer specification. A product may have many defect, but product is not defective unless the defect prevents the product from functioning. Defect does not necessarily mean that the product or service cannot be used. Here the defect indicates only the product result is not entirely as intended by the user. Defect are subsets of defective and we talk about the term non-conformity is sometimes used to signify the defects for example if you go in a restaurant and you evaluate the service of a restaurant and if the waiter greets you after five minutes the customer can still order and enjoy a meal even though the greeting time does not meet your expectation Therefore, this could be considered as a defect of late greeting the customer in service. The maximum number of defects that is allowed is based on AQL, which is being set by the customer. So AQL stands for acceptable quality limit. That is the percentage defective, which is accepted 90% of the time by the customer. For example, AQL of 1.5 means that I want no more than 1.5% defective items in my lot. Now let us look at what is defective. So defective is nothing but any product or service with one or more defect. So if product is not usable, then it is considered as a defective product. These are some of the examples of defective product. So in short, the term defective refers to a product or a component, whereas the term defect refers to the quality characteristic of a product. Let's take an example here. Suppose the quality of a product is defined by falling quality characteristic like length, diameter, surface finish, hardness, tensile strength, uh, maybe a long cushion, etc. Now consider the pro product whose length is beyond the specification and other features are okay. So it, it has one defect. Now consider the uh, two features are out of specification. One could be length and it also fails in tensile test. So it has two defects. Similarly, if if surface finish is also not okay, then probably he, it has three defects, uh, length, tensile strength, and surface finish. In all these cases, the product is said to be defective, irrespective of if it has one defect, two defect, or three defect. Here the term non-conformity, non-conforming is sometimes referred to as defective. Does a defective product may have one defect or more than one defect depending upon the quality characteristics that define the product quality. So why it is important to clearly define and classify the quality defects for your product? Because it is a vital step for determining if the goods should pass or fail inspection. 
तो क्वालिटी कंट्रोल प्रोफेशन टिपिकली क्लासीफाई डिफेक्ट इन टू थ्री मेन कैटेगरीज एंड दिस कैटेगरीज आर क्रिटिकल डिफेक्ट मेजर डिफेक्ट एंड द माइंडेड डिफेक्ट A professional inspection company often has established standards for classifying various types of defects, but it is ultimately your responsibility as a buyer to decide your tolerance for different defects. Often, used using AQL, the nature and the severity of defect determine in which of these three categories it belongs. So, let us first understand what are critical defects. so the critical defects are the most serious of the three defect types the example could be the damaged wiring where damaged wiring with copper exposed can endanger a product and user such critical defect present a risk of fire shock and in severe case death as well life threatening when used as directed and could probably trigger a product recall in case of a some very highly industries like automotive medical and aviation they normally have a acceptable quality limit equal of 0% where many importers have zero tolerance policy for critical defect in the order with the risk an item will often fail product inspection if a single critical defect is found within the order so major defects so major defects are more serious than minor defects but less severe than critical defects major defects could affect the fit form and functionality of a product a major defect is one other than the critical that is likely to result in failure or reduce the material usability of a product or its intended use these defects are readily noticeable by customers and they detect would cause a customer to return the product lodge a complaint and maybe request a refund in response they normally have a equal limit of 0.25 to 0.4% minor defect minor defect are usually small insignificant issues that does not affect the fit form and functionality of a item customer wouldn't likely to return an item due to this minor defects alone a example could be in a phone will have small scratch on your back so because of this you probably will not change or return the product to the end users because these uh, defects are hardly noticeable by the customers mostly the equal level in minor defect is set around 2.5% to 4% so how do you evaluate defects and defectives so let's start with defects so for defect we will use the poisson distribution probability model and under defects we have two categories c type control charts which is used if you have a constant sample size and u type control charts if you have a variable sample size and for defectives we will use the binomial distribution probability model in defects it was poisson distribution in defectives it is binomial distribution and under defective for p chart we will use the variable sample size and for np chart we will use the constant sample size just to summarize so if you have a defect and you have a variable sample size you will use u chart again under defect if you have a constant sample size you will use c chart for poisson distribution under the defective for binomial distribution for variable sample size you will use p chart and for constant sample size you will use np chart let's do a quick recap of today's video on defect and defective so for defect defect is any non conformity that does not meet the customer specification and defective any product or service with one or more defect defect can be evaluated through c chart and u type control charts and defectives can be evaluated through p chart and np control charts 
defect are categorized as critical, major, and minor. And defectives, defects are basically a subset of defectives. So that is all I have on this video. See you soon in my next video. Now you can follow digital e-learning on all the social media platforms like Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. And for our regular updates, you can join our Facebook and LinkedIn groups. I will share the link for all these in my description below. Thanks for watching digital e-learning. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like and share this video with all your friends on all the social media platforms.